Okay, so today I'm going to show how I set up a flat mount brake on a bike. The first thing we need to check is to make sure that the, the caliper is completely flat across the uh, mounting holes. And sometimes when they drill them, there's a little bit of burr here. And when that metal is raised up, it'll cause the caliper to rock. We don't want that. So I'm going to use this diamond file. It's really hard, straight file. These are used to sharpen knives, by the way. They're really good. It has a super fine side and a little bit rougher side. So we're gonna take the diamond file. We're gonna put our hand on it like this, and we're just going to gently go across both ways until we remove any of the, the drill flashing. And I'm not pushing hard, it's just very gentle, letting the flatness of the blade go right across that part. And now when we're done, you'll see that we've taken these little bit of high spots off, okay? So the next step is we're gonna take this tap, which is a five millimeter by 0.8 to match the thread. And we're just going to use this to clean, very lightly clean the inside threads. We don't have to go very deep. We just go right to it. It basically stops. Come back out. And it's gonna have a little bit of material in there. We just take our fingers or the towel and wipe it off and then do the other one. It should go in super easy. This is just cleaning the threads and cleaning any of the material out of the hole. Okay. Next step is I'm gonna take some, a little bit of spray cleaner and just clean the hole like that. Okay, now the hole is clean. Tamp it down on the thing. And this brake caliper is ready to mount. So, final step, magic ink. We take a little bit of black magic ink and we just go over the raw metal. Ta-da! Now, that metal, the raw metal is protected against corrosion. Okay, here's a fork that I've spray painted some paint on and made a, a mess. So here's bad. a typical front caliper. It already has the mounting plate. But when we put this on, it'll tend to rock a little bit. So we need to make that flat. So on the front fork, it's really easy. I use the diamond file and I just very gently go across on both sides like so. I'm keeping it very flat, and all I'm doing is just taking off the excess paint. That's all. There we go. It's important not to cut 
into the alloy bushing too much. You just want to clear the excess paint off of the boss. Now, this works because from the factory, the angle is already set and we're really just taking off the excess paint. That's all we're doing. We're not refacing it. If you want to reface the boss, you need to use a special tool for that. And it's really rare that you'd need it. Notice I'm using my finger to hold the, blade, the file flat and I'm just very carefully going back and forth until it's clean. That's all I'm doing. Just taking off the rough edges, making it flat. And you'll see here in a second. That it just starts to become square. And when you have that, it's done. Ooh, that's almost perfect. There, that one's perfect. I can, I'm not tipping, I'm using my finger to keep it dead flat. Now I'll flip it over and use the fine one. Okay, zoom in in there and show how the material's been removed. So we've just taken the paint off of the top we barely touch the surface. It's about the same all the way around. Then, same thing. We take the thread tap. We go through. Clean it out. You can see it even picked up some of the white paint that was in there. Now it's nice and clean on the inside. We do the same on this one. Gently unscrew it. Look at that. We got lots of stuff out, didn't we? Now we take our carb cleaner. We put a squirt there. A squirt there. Now when we mount this, it's dead flat, okay? It's perfect. This is the rear. I've sprayed some paint on. It's exactly the same frame as it's a GV33, so it's exactly the same. Now, the interesting thing is this is called the pedestal. The rear pedestal, if we look at the caliper, it's like this. If we look across here, it should also be flat. It's the same all the way across the holes, okay? It's completely flat. But because of the paint, it's going to be lumpy. So when we tighten it down, it might have an angle, and we don't want that angle. So this is a really simple, easy way to get a perfect 90 degree alignment on your rear pedestal. What I do is I start by putting a wheel in. A 
the wheel in. We want this angle to be 90 degrees, okay? Very important. Make sure your rotor is clean when you mount it onto the wheel because it's possible for the rotor to be tipped too. So we just want to rotate this and make sure that the rotor is running perfect. And this one is pretty okay. So make sure your rotor is running straight. Now, we wanna clean off this excess paint. So, easy to do. First, we'll use some masking tape and we're gonna mask off the part that we don't want to damage or scratch. Like so. Just put a bit of tape across here. So I mask off the painted section because I don't want to get a scratch. We use a very expensive tool. It's called a block of wood. <laughs> it's actually square enough. And what we're going to do is we're going to use the block of wood aligned towards the rotor to give us a scraping surface that's exactly 90 degrees. How cool is that? And I'm using 80 grit, 80 grit wet dry paper. I like 80, it cuts through this and it doesn't make big scratches and it's not going to hurt the rotor. Now we just come here and notice I leave a little bit hanging over because I wanna go all the way and I just push to the end, and then I just slowly sand it down. I'm not pushing hard, I'm letting the sandpaper do the work. And I'm keeping the pressure towards the bottom this way so that it stays in alignment. And I just keep going until I get what I want. First, I'm working on the back one. See, we're starting to scrape this little bit of uh, material off. And then I can even work it this way. And just keep going lightly. And notice it's going to take the high spot off first, which is really what we want. And we just keep going. This is really an amazing way to do this. I just keep going lightly until I've gotten almost all of the material off that I want. And I keep rotating the sandpaper. It's 
to keep it clean. Working one hole, then I work the other hole just lightly. It takes a little bit of time, but you're gonna get it perfect this way. Ooh, I can feel it. When it starts to go smooth, you can you can feel it. The, the everything will be smooth. Then you just very lightly keep going, 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 going. Oh yeah, there it goes. Just like that. Do the front one a little bit. Notice I'm clearing off the dust. Just go light, not pushing hard, it's light. Letting the sandpaper do the work. It's a real Bob Ross feeling. All the little sandpapers are doing the work for you. Oh yeah. Now, if you can zoom in there, you'll see that I just removed enough of the top coat. So you just start to see the aluminum poking through, okay? When it gets to that point, that's perfect. Just the tiniest bit of aluminum because that's the facing mark at the original factory. So that's all you wanna show. It's just that little bit right there. And on this side, again, we see just a little bit of the aluminum poking through. It's perfect. This is perfect. And when we mount our caliper, and if we tighten this down, it's going to be perfectly straight. And I want you to look up here. I don't know if you can see in here, the gap between the rotor. Okay, if I hold this and I slide it over, it's solid. It's perfectly straight with the caliper side and it's perfectly 90 degrees flat on the pedestal. This is perfectly centered and ready to go. All you need to do is uh, mount it and center your pads and you're done. And that's it. Okay, I'm gonna clean off the excess paint. No, use a little bit of uh, alcohol. Or acetone. This frame isn't painted, but it gives you an idea. There, it's ready to go.